Israel is weighing how it will respond to an attack by Iran, which launched a barrage of drones and missiles over a five-hour period. Israel's war cabinet met for hours yesterday, with one official saying the event is not over and that Israel will act in a way and at a time of its own choosing. Israel says 99% of the missiles were intercepted, and the only reported injury was a seven-year-old girl who was seriously wounded by shrapnel. Iran's attack comes two weeks after a suspected Israeli airstrike on a diplomatic building in Syria that killed two Iranian generals. In the wake of Iran's missile and drone attack, top American officials are now working to keep the conflict in the Middle East from escalating. President Biden spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the weekend, reportedly urging him to show restraint and refrain from launching a large retaliatory strike. All right, so we have two really big stories here today. Here with more is a Scripps News contributor and founder of The Warning, Steve Smith. Thank you so much um, uh, for coming on the show. We love to have you. So President Biden is facing uh, a separate battle following Iran's barrage of missiles launched towards Israel, which were shot down uh, with the help from the U.S., a large percentage of those. Uh, Biden urged Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not to retaliate and to refrain from further action. Uh, what could the consequences for the U.S. be? Um, they have made it very clear that what Whatever Israel does next, we will not be a part of. Um, but let's say Netanyahu does not listen and decides to strike Iran despite Biden's request. What, what's at stake for us here? Well, the world stands at a very, very dangerous hour. And this war that has been a shadow war between the Israelis and the Iranians has taken a giant step into the open. The attack by the Iranians on Israel is unprecedented. It was a large attack. There were more than 300 uh, drones, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles fired. Uh, they were all, as you said, shot down, not just by the United States in assistance, but by the United Kingdom, by France, by Jordan. And so Israel right now and the United States has a choice. First strategic question that the Israelis have to face is the reestablishment of deterrence. Before the attack, the Iranians had never attacked Israel from Iranian soil. They have done that. How to reestablish deterrence? At the same time, strategically, this war in Gaza has not gone well for Israel. Israel is diplomatically isolated in the world. There are protests against Israel. Hamas is not destroyed, may not be destroyed, and the country is internally divided. Israel's allies are saying, we want you to show restraint, wait later to settle the account. And so this is a fraught moment. Uh, the United States has indicated that we will not be involved in offensive attacks against Iran, but should Israel attack Iran and Iran responds, the United States, once again, like it just did, will defend Israeli airspace. The reprisal from Iran could be a launch of attacks from the north, from Lebanon, 150,000-plus rockets under the command of Hezbollah, 60,000 Israelis already evacuated from the north. That's a much shorter timeline and much likely an attack that is harder for the Israelis to stop and one that could cause actual casualties.